All right, weather now and a look at, uh, well, never mind. I thought we were going to look at a camera, but I was confused. We didn't. We came straight to this. So <laughs> I was well, going to say that it's, it's hot outside. You can feel it. It just kind of comes over you like a ton of bricks out there. Well, wait, you weren't even talking about the song, Hot Time, Summer in the City? Back Billboard, of my neck is dirty and gritty. Billboard number one hit. August 1966. There you go. This Can you is, sing it for us? Please? No, I just got it in. It's not pretty. All right, so here's the deal. It's the second verse of the same song. It's going to be another hot day tomorrow. And the weather pattern hasn't changed that much. High pressure in the Gulf, onshore flow. You add in that heating. We're going to get some storms in the afternoon. And you see all of this orange over here, these orange lines? That's where they have heat advisories posted. So we're going to be hot here. The good news is all of that rain that we had this afternoon now dissipated. But that was a big thunderstorm that moved through Livingston Parish over here by Tanchpahoe Parish. There were over 1,700 lightning strikes in 15 minutes. Right now, just a couple of showers along the coast. And we can look and see that storm over in Livingston Parish as much as two inches of rain, and it fell really quickly. This is the weather pattern upstairs. We've got high pressure. And when you have high pressure aloft, it causes that air to be compressed and it causes things to heat up. And also, your chance of rain goes down. But with high pressure in the Gulf at the surface, it's sending in the moisture, so we're going to have a whole lot of humidity. Now, this is kind of interesting. We've had this big high pressure ridge over the Atlantic. Look at how a break develops, and that may allow what's now Invest 96L to move to the north in the Atlantic. We'll keep you posted. 94 the high today, the record 99. I'm glad we didn't hit it, but over at Audubon, it did hit 99 degrees. The problem is National Weather Service is listing that temperature as missing because too much concrete around there, not getting an accurate reading. Regardless, it's going to be hot tomorrow, hot through the weekend. If you're working outside, you really need to pay attention to your body. And if you start getting cramps in your legs, feeling weak, dizzy, nauseous, if your pulse increases, you need to get some assistance. Take care. Drink some uh, cool fluids. Try to cool down. And that's what the birds were doing in Gulfport. They've got the right idea. Anthony Pollard sent in that twit pick. I love it. And in Kenner this morning, rocket fire pizza, red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. Sure enough, we did get some thunderstorms. Red skies at night. Sailors delight. They had rain in Homa, and then it was just a beautiful sunset for Ken Livingston. 79 degrees now being reported at the airport. We have cooled down thanks to the rain, 81 degrees at the lakefront. The heat index has now dropped below 90, which is nice. Morning low temperatures will be in the mid to the upper 70s. It's going to be a hot day tomorrow. Those high temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s. Still a chance of rain in the afternoon hours. It's only a 20 percent chance, but you can still get a strong storm. And just real quickly, again, high chance for tropical development for Invest 96L. We'll be keeping you posted on that. So as we look at your exact cast, hot tomorrow, going through the day, even at 9 o'clock, you're in the mid to the upper 80s. Noontime, you're in the low 90s. Through the weekend, we're going to be in the mid 90s. That heat index, 105 to 110. Rain chances begin to go up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as a weak cold front approaches, but won't move through.